Time to get down to business. It's GMAT Tuesdays. Hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome. <laughs> Today, uh, we're dealing with idioms. Uh, must know idioms for the sentence correction uh, section of the GMAT. Um, as you probably know, there are some idioms that are tested. Um, not the colloquial ones and not the American ones. Uh, GMAT is actually doing a good job of sort of scrubbing the test of Americanisms um, to make it more international um, so that you don't have to know an American idiom. These are just uh, idioms in the sense that there's certain verbs out there that go with certain other words, whether they're prepositions uh, or other words. So let's dive in and look at these four. If this is really popular and you really like it, let us know, we'll make more of these videos. Um, and if no one likes it, then we'll not make any more. So, um, the first verb to look out for on the test is required. Um, you want to use that and be with this verb. So, you have the company requires that, um, you're always gonna have the that right after requires, and then gonna just, there's gonna be something. So, requires that, something or someone, so you can think of this as like X as your variable, B, so it requires that X, B, and then something else. And in this case, it's screened by an outside agency. Um, and so you can think of this as our Y. So it really requires that X, B, Y. Um, so look out for that. Um, the mistake that tends to happen is that they leave that out. They forget to put that there. Um, so watch out for it. Next, estimate. Um, so with this uh, verb, we want to use to be. We want to use to be. You can see it here. So the sentence says, the new study estimates female salaries to be 81% of male salaries. Um, so here, estimate something to be something. Um, and I want to point out too, it doesn't always have to follow this format. The to be can come right after estimates. Um, so be on the lookout for that, but it always will have the to be. And the general mistake here is that uh, they use as instead of to be. So um, if you see an answer choice that says estimates as, get rid of it, eliminate, don't need it. All right, moving on my sweatshirt out of the way. Uh, prohibit. Um, with prohibit, you want to use from. Um, and again, it's going to be the same sort of format of prohibits x from y, just as we saw with require. So the agreement prohibits the team in Michigan from moving to Ohio. So in this case, this is our x. And that's our Y. So we always want to have the from in there. Um, and the mistake that generally happens is that someone's going to use to instead of from. Um, so be on the lookout for answer choices that are using to with prohibit. Not correct. Incorrect. Um, and finally, the last one for today, believe. Um, with believe, again, we're going to want to use to be. Um, so here we have C.S. Lewis believed people, so this is our X, to be what they believed themselves to be. Um, <laughs> so this is a little confusing. Sorry, there's two believes in here. Um, but illustrates a good point. So they're repeating the same, um, or in the sentence, we're repeating the same idiom. And the second use of the idiom just happens to be R, Y. So believed X to be Y. And then within here, you can see what they believed and then themselves, which is X to be uh, Y. Um, and so the error that tends to happen here is that people, whoa, things are moving. People tend to use that after the belief. So CS believed that people, we don't need that. Um, it's extra and unneeded. All right, excellent. So now you know a little bit more about these idioms, keep brushing up on them. Um, pro tip, uh, Magoosh has some awesome GMAT idiom flashcards. We'll put a link down below um, so you can go check those out and you can download them for 
any Android phone or iPhone. Um, and there are all kinds of other idioms in there that are commonly tested on the GMAT. So study these, study those, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're here to help. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I know people are busy out there, so it's great when people do watch. Um, so be excellent to the universe, and I'll see you soon.